Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Rob Motive Tundra YouTube channel. Let me start off by saying that I am a big fan of the Toyota Tundra, but nothing's perfect, right? And these are the top five bad things that Toyota needs to fix with the 2022 redesigned Toyota Tundra. First of all, let's start off with the elephant in the room, I guess, and that is fuel economy. You know, on the two Tundras that I've had, they probably average somewhere around yeah, the 12 to 13 mile per gallon range. Now that's horrible. Now I realize it's a truck and it's never gonna be a hyper miler, but 10 to 12, 14 miles per gallon? That's crazy. According to all the rumors, that should be fixed in 2022. Number two, the entire interior, right? It needs to be modernized. They need to redesign the seats, all of the materials that are inside, the colors, the textures, all of that kind of stuff, right? It has kind of an antiquated 1980s feel to me. I always found it kind of strange that I'd be out looking for a new truck be expecting that I would get the latest and greatest, right? And then I jumped in the Tundra and I kind of felt like I had stepped back in time a little bit. I wondered if the Tundra was really a time machine. That's something that Toyota needs to address. I'm sure they will, and that should be fixed in 2022. Number three, it's the clunk. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know, when you first start up your Tundra, you go out, you're driving in a straight line, and then you go to turn, and when you make that turn, you get a clunk in the front end. It's very strange, and enough that not only do you hear it, but you can almost feel it. Now, it's been attributed to some sort of a, a self-test for the anti-lock brake system. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know why it does this in the Tundra. You know, I've had two Tundras, both of them behaved exactly the same way. I always got that clunk right after I started up the truck and then the first turn on the steering wheel. Have you experienced that? Let me know. Number four, delete all of the chrome. Let's get rid of the chrome. You know, the front end of the Tundra, it's like a mirror. We need to get rid of that stuff or at least offer a version like the Nightshade, I think it's called Nightshade, version that they're offering currently, at least in the Tacoma. We need to have something for those of us, and I think there are many, who are devout anti-chromists. Let's get rid of the chrome. We don't need that. That is such an outdated thing. It gives the truck an outdated feel right out of the gate. Even if they update everything else, if they throw a ton of chrome on it, it's not going to feel refreshed, at least not to me. Number five, the fifth biggest thing, and this might be a little bit personal for me because I love tech, but let's have an updated infotainment system as well as a couple other things, but an updated infotainment system and gauge cluster. I want that big 12 inch, at least, I'll take bigger, but I want that big 12 inch infotainment system. Others are doing it and it's awesome. And while we're at it, push start needs to be standard. We don't need a key anymore, do we? Along with keyless entry and power locking tailgates. You know, I know at least with the Tacoma, there's still versions out there, even in 2021, that don't come with a power locking tailgate. You know, it costs like what, 120 bucks or something like that to put one in yourself. How much more could it add to the price if Toyota actually made it standard? I'd pay for it. I just think it's one of those modern conveniences that we should have in a truck. Now, these are all pretty simple things, right? I mean, they've been addressed by, I think every other major truck manufacturer. And there's no reason why Toyota can't compete, can't do the same with the 2022 Tundra. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my list, my five little simple minor things that I think should be updated with the 2022 
Tundra. These are just bad things that Tundra needs to take care of, I think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two other channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.